Well, are you ready for the news, 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 news? Yeah. Got deep there. I like that. That's, <laughs> that's our new one right there. I like that a lot. All right. News for this beautiful April day, which is news for March. So the biggest story I found, I think the most controversial, is the James Gunn story. Are we all familiar on that? Yeah. Crazy. So what Okay, happened, so what's controversial about it? All right. So James Gunn, who basically really took Guardians of the Galaxy unexpected heights, right? He did yeah. Guardians 1, did Guardians 2, hired and wrote for Guardians 3. All of a sudden, they found some old tweets where he said some inappropriate things. I don't know what those were, but was fired from Guardians of the Galaxy Sexist things. 3. Sexist things. Yes. But they're all jokes, but... Here's the thing is, those were prior to Guardians 1. So he did these a long time ago and yeah. had apologized for them publicly, whatever. So he gets fired. In the middle of that, he gets hired um, from Warner Brothers to do Suicide Squad 2. Right. Yeah. Two weeks ago, it came out that Disney's hired him back to do Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Yes. So, so he's on a DC film and a, and a Marvel film at the same time. So a couple questions here. Do you think, one, do you think he'll stay with the DC film? And keep doing Suicide no. Squad too. Uh, I mean, that all depends on what kind of contracts that he signs. That's true. <clears throat> so um, if they're willing to wait on him to start filming three, and he wants to rush through Suicide Squad, right? Then... Which some exciting news is he, he's come out publicly and said that Suicide Squad is not Suicide Squad two. It's more of a retelling of a new story with new characters from that universe. Okay. So it's not a direct. I mean, obviously there's going to be some tie-ins, but it's yeah. not a direct. This is a sequel. Here you go, kind of right. thing. Uh, I think he stays with it because he's been excited about it. Or does he, did he use that as a ploy to get back on Guardians of the Galaxy? Well, the Guardians of the Galaxy, it's because they were strong armed from the actors. Yes. So Dave Bautista and Chris, what's this one's Chris? What Pratt. Like Pratt. Both said they wouldn't do it without his script being used. Mm -hmm. They got that. Bautista even said he wouldn't do Drax again if James didn't direct. Right. He was the one that said, if he's not directing, I'm not even I'm in I'm not it. doing it. Yeah, where Chris and the other <laughs> of one said... Of all of the thespians right. in the world... <laughs> right, yeah. that's... To that, take that's a stand yeah. on and, something. But get, but get it accomplished, too. Yeah, that's good, yeah. that's good. Um, yeah, the actor's like, hey, the script's been done, we'd love it, you have to use that. Disney seemed to be on board for that, but it wasn't... I thought Chris or someone bigger than Drax would have to step up and right. say, we're not even going to do this. So my thoughts on this and my question to you guys, do you think Hollywood is too quick to sentence people for past mistakes? Absolutely. Sometimes, yeah. I think absolutely because the piece is, it's like it, we're, we're ultra sensitive right now yes. to everything. And so if you ever have made a joke ever, it's going to come back up and it's going to bite you. I'm going to do this podcast and never run for office. <laughs> right? Because it's going to be out there on... <laughs> And I'm Wait probably a minute. 35 Episode and three. can run for president, but after this I will no longer right, be able to. Right, I mean, so... I'm upset about that. I'm too lazy to do much of anything what? public office-wise. <laughs> well, and that's a thankless job. That's another story. Um, but I go back to the Kevin Hart and Oscar thing. You know, they threw him under the bus really quick, and he said, I already apologized for that. Right. Why, why can I not host? I'm yeah. Not, you but know? what I appreciate yeah. about the Kevin Hart thing is, I already apologized. They offered it back to him. And he, you know, again, mm -hmm. and he kept saying, no, no. no. James Gunn, it's like, uh, I fired you. Okay, well, we didn't really mean it because we got the backlash. You know, why didn't he take take a stand against it? Right. No, okay, well, bygones be bygones. I, I don't appreciate that piece of it, but I also don't want to watch a Guardians of the Galaxy without him directing it. I would agree with that, too. So, I, I get it. It's just... God, we just uh, get ever in society we got to get a sense of humor again. Yep, and lighten up. Russell, do you think? I mean, some some mistakes in the past you cannot overcome or apologize for, but is there a time stamp to when some of these like, hey, that's too far gone? Well, to me, there is a big difference between your mouth and your actions. Absolutely. You know, so if you're accused of sexually assaulting someone in the past, you're a jerk forever. We should not work with you. You're unhinged. You're unstable. If you are accused of saying something off color in the past, right? Well, that's got to be forgiven, you know. Especially if you have done things to to show that that's not who you really are. Anyway. Right. If you're, I have back said some directions. dumb crap in the past. <laughs> yep. You hang around with me long enough, you're going to hear some dumb crap again. And but please don't judge me for the rest of my life <laughs> based on my awesome comments, stupid maybe. shit I'd be saying. You right. know what I mean? Because and that's just how we are. The big problem is these days, 
you know, and they try to tell the kids this and stuff too. The internet never dies. Yes. Mm-hmm. The internet has no recycle time. Anything you put on the internet will be on there for a million billion years. Except for when the internet dies and our society goes away, be, there'll be no record of us. They'll think that we ended in the, in the late 90s right. because we quit printing <laughs> pictures. Yep. <laughs> no I books. Had, I had this conversation with my nephew. I said, there is no such thing as privacy online. I was exactly. To, you, know, with Snap, you know, he's growing up. He'll never not know Snapchat or Facebook or Twitter. Or some of these things that we didn't grow up with. We never had this crap. So we don't have to deal with that. But he's I'm just trying to say, you got to be so careful and treat women with respect because you don't, and everything you put out there, everyone can see. But you I really don't want to live in a culture where I can't send a dick pic. That's true. That's true. You, you already be sending do. Me a lot. You'd be sending a lot. You already live in a universe that no one wants <laughs> no to one see wants your that. dick pic. No, I, oh, I like it when well, you title. I agree to disagree. Yeah. I love it when you title them a turtle or my jump. <laughs> That's my favorite part. Um, but I also think that Disney had trouble finding a director for this because yeah. they interviewed Taika Waititi, like, or who? How do you pronounce his last name? He did the last um, Thor, Ragnarok. The oh, okay. Yep. They asked him, like, hey, would you jump on Guardians 3? And he's like, no, that's James' movie. And I think a lot of directors were like that, too. So yeah. I think they were kind of like, we screwed up. Well, they would have found somebody, but it would have been somebody who's just not going to make the film the caliber. No. Let's call it Blade 3. Yeah. The Blade, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Blade Trinity. They, 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 they let the guy who wrote the first two, two Blades, direct. who had never directed a film before, direct Blade 3. And that's uh-huh. what we got. And Snipes yeah. was like, this is amateur hour. This is kiddie stuff. I hate it. Yeah. You know, so. Bad. Well, hopefully he can do both, because I'm excited for su- what he can do with Suicide. With that character, right. the characters, I think he could do something cool. So I'm excited. But anyway, so our next story, Pet Cemetery is tracking for a huge opening weekend, which kind of blows me away. But Horror tra- stuff is doing so well. Us just overtook Captain Marvel. What did it make? Do you have those numbers by chance? No, I don't. Well, um, have you seen the, have you guys seen the trailers for Pet Cemetery? <laughs> yeah. What do you think? I don't want to be buried in the Pet Cemetery. <laughs> no. Um, you kn- I don't know if you know my opinion I, on horror true. movies, but this is one that I watched as a kid. Right. And so there's some tie back to watching it as a kid and, you know, the same story told differently. Supposedly yeah. this one's going to be closer to the book. And the book okay. is, I think I even read the book back in the day because I did read some Stephen King back in the day. Mm-hmm. So we're hoping that, yeah, I, I think it looks pretty good. I just don't know if I'm going to go see it. That's I don't know if I'm in the theater this, but I'll definitely when it comes out. I'm, I'm, I'm going to red box it. I'm going to yeah. whatever. I'm going to watch it. And did the Ramones do the opening song or not? I don't know. That drum Because beat. why not, you know? Yeah. It's I don't want to be buried in the Pet cemetery. Is it John Levitz or who's, is he in this? John no. Levitz. No, it's not. John, John Levitz. Lithgow. Thank you. John Levitz died. Remember that when he was on Saturday Night Live? John right. Levitz. Yeah. Putting him up as yeah. in the memorial. That's that was so I'm here. I'm still here. Still here. I'm still here. <laughs> I'm, I'm still here. <laughs> I'm looking forward. I don't think I'll see it in theaters. Maybe. I don't know. But my question to you is this. They're, seeing, they're going to do some remakes of horror flicks. Is there a horror flick from your past that you guys would like to see remade? Like a, maybe a B movie or something? Because this to me was kind of that B movie, but it always scared me. Yeah, it was pretty scary. Do you want me to start to give you time to think? Yeah, because that's a that's a tough question. I was thinking the one that used to scare me was do you guys do you ever see Critters? Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. That one just terrified me. And I think with the CGI Critters? now, that could be totally scary. Yeah. But then again, there was something kind of comical about them being like the way they were. I don't know. I'd like to see that remade. Um, they're remaking Leprechaun, and that's going to be a direct to Netflix. <laughs> yeah. So oh, those movies. Jennifer Aniston won't be in it. But Hello. How do you know? Uh, I don't know. That's true. She could be in it. The, the movie that scared me as a kid was Children of the Corn. Yep. That movie. That I could was, be remade. Be remade. That could be remade. remade. Yeah. Right. That could be easily be remade. Well, I wonder if we're just going to see a trend of like remaking Stephen King films. You think yeah. they do The Shining someday? I, no. I, I don't um I don't know. I to don't me, that so. to me that original That's one is such a such a masterpiece. Yeah. But there's things like Silver Bullet and... The Mist. The, yeah. Hmm. Secret Window. <laughs> Secret Window. That one's pretty good. You really. like that one? Yeah, I like that one. Okay. It wasn't bad. Yeah. All right, so we're going to move on to some casting news. So I'm going to hopefully I say his name right. Cillian Murphy? Is that mm-hmm. right? Cillian Murphy, All yeah. right, because I know there's a couple of pronouncements. But anyway, he's in talks to join Emily Blunt for A Quiet Place too. Do you think that's a good casting call? 
Did you see the to, first one? I saw it. I so is it. he going to be like the John Krasinski character? What or? they're what they're saying is, hey, this event's not just happening in this one spot. It's happening mm-hmm. all over the world. So they're telling a new story, but kind of with some same characters to bring them in. But I don't, I don't know where they're going to take it. But that's oh, that's interesting. Thought. Well, that's like kind of like what they're doing with Walking Dead. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of. I, uh, I love that guy. I, I like anything too. he's ever been in. Yeah. Cillian Murphy. Is that the guy that played the Scarecrow? Yes. Yes. Yeah. 28 weeks later and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. He's in every uh, uh, a Nolan movie. It's If Nolan makes a movie, he's in it. And, and I don't know that he's a character that you get behind. He's always played a bad guy, right? Well, yeah. if, if you watch Peaky Blinders, he's the main oh, character. He's so good in that. And then there's, a, there's a film with him and De Niro called... I think it was called just Red... Was it? What was it called? What was that? I do remember what you're talking about. Yeah, where he um, he had kind of superpowers. Yeah. What was that? That was a good piggy bunch. You've got to watch. It's so good. Um, what was that? Where I'm looking it up okay. right now. Well, you're Red Eye. Red Eye. No, no, no it's that not. was Red Eye. Was when he was no. he was the bad he was the bad guy uh-huh. on the plane ride. Yep. Um, I remember that. Gosh, she's been a lot. Uh, in, well, Inception, Dunkirk, uh, Red Lights. Maybe it's I called, haven't it, seen it's that. It's called Red Lights with him and De Niro. I'll check that out. And De Niro is like a famous illusionist guy mm-hmm. in that film. And um, the Cillian Murphy's been searching for someone who has real, like, telekinetic okay. telepathy type powers or whatever. And he thinks he finds it. They're calling it drama fantasy horror. Is that the one that's got Woody Harrelson in it and. Uh, the guy from the social network? No, it does not. Oh. No, huh. that's a completely different one. This one is completely different, and it's not that <laughs> stupid magic one. This one has uh, Robert De Niro, Sigourney Weaver, Cillian Murphy, Elizabeth Olsen, Toby Jones. So basically just like a, a, a D-list class cast, you know. I've o- never only second-tier actors. Yeah. Did no, you like no, it? I thought it was fantastic. I'll definitely watch that. Then. Yeah, it's from 2012. I don't know oh, how wow. you guys missed that. How did you guys miss that yeah. one? You're missing good movies over here. <laughs> eh, what do I know? <laughs> I'm going to try to pronounce this one right to you. Jai Courtney. You guys know who that yep. is? Okay, he said that he's back as Captain Boomerang in Suicide Squad 2. I don't think, like, when they try to make him as the lead in, like, the Die Hards and a couple of the others, I don't see him being a lead guy. But when he's, like, these supporting characters, he shines. And I thought he was great in that first Suicide Squad. So I'm excited for it. Would you guys like to see him back or more? Or what do you, you think? Know, I, people either hate him or love him. Suicide Squad was on again the other night. And I, yeah. I, I had it on and I was like, man, there was nothing in that movie that I was... <laughs> I, it, didn't, it didn't keep my attention for very long. So I forget the characters. I just kind of... And I, I'm a DC guy that yeah. looked at that movie and went, this is... A turd. It was bad. The problem is, is when your cast is all bad guys, how do you get a compelling bad guy? Yeah. Right. Who you know, out. and I don't even remember who the bad guy was in that. Some ga- some lady or something? Yeah, the Enchantress. Yeah. 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 It was dumb. Well, Ooh. remember it wasn't the movie it was supposed to be, too. Right. I mean, there were some problems there. The script, it wasn't. And the, you yeah. know that Will Smith's not going to be in the next one. I say, thank God, because he is atrocious in that movie. Yeah. I mean, and he is... They were talking about giving him his own lately. film, weren't they, after yeah, that? They yeah, they were like, going to do a Deadshot like, spinoff or something. Yeah, they, mm. I think he's saying this so he can, if they do make a Flash movie, maybe he can make some Flash money, too. And be like, I'll do that, too, so yeah. keep working. Anyway, now, I know I'm going to really mispronounce her name, but I think it's McKenna Grace. And we don't really know her from other many things other than she was in I, Tonya, But she's set to be the lead in this new Ghostbusters movie. Younger actress, um, again, only in a couple roles. But I think she's going to be maybe the daughter of one of the Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. And so Uh that's the biggest casting news I saw for Ghostbusters. They've kind of got that lined out and are going to start production here pretty soon. No big names in it then. Well, they haven't said. Are the people we want, the Bill Murrays and the Aykroyds, they haven't really announced anything. And I bet they won't. I bet they'll be hush-hush until you go to the theater. Until you go uh, to the theater. Sneak it in on you. So. Jared Leto, he's been a busy man. You know, he just shared a pic of him um, in Salem's Lot working on this new Morpheus movie. You guys heard anything? I don't know what Morpheus is, but that's no. a that's a superhero. Is what Morpheus? I'm he's a vampire superhero. Oh, okay. So he's is he a, a Blade character too? Well, he's he's he he appears in a lot of the Blades and and the Spider Mans and stuff. So how come he's not involved in playing the Joker? The, okay, at all? so he Ew. just put a Instagram pic up that. It was just the emoji of the Joker. 
And there's been some shots with a stunt double on this new Harley Quinn and the whatever, yeah. whatever it's called movie. Mm-hmm. Harley what? Quinn and the, fa- uh, no, it's Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous yes. Emancipation of Harley, Harley Quinn. Quinn. Yes. So it looks like he is going to be in that movie. But here's the thing. Did you guys like his Joker? I did. I, I thought it wasn't bad. I thought it was, I, th- I thought it was a more of a modern take on it. It was much better than all the other characters in that movie other than Harley Quinn. I don't think we got enough of it to really know. Mm-hmm. It was so brief. And maybe it was great, or maybe it was horrible. I think we need more. Anyway, I'm excited for that. So, um, would you like to see more of that Joker, though? I don't know. As a standalone film, I'm not sure. No? So, here's what's interesting. I don't know how long you could take him, you know? Yeah, that's true. If he is in the Suicide Squad, do you know what the release date for Suicide Squad 2 is? No. That or Guardians, I don't have a clue the, on The date that I've got here is August 6, 2021. I mean, that's not that So you're, so you're two still years. too far out, two years off. Uh-huh. But I'm seeing a release date of October 2019 for the new The Joker movie. And that's with, with Joaquin Phoenix. With Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah. So how are they going to have two Jokers simultaneously? I think they are, I think though. Doing I, it, yeah. I, th- I think they're just going to be like, you know... This is a show about this, and then this is the world. I you roll into a comic book shop, Batman's in 10 comics every month. Right. That's true. Right. You know, different so... Things completely yeah, different things. True. So I, th- I think they're going to... Maybe that's where DC can start kind of one-upping Marvel. Is you know what? Our stuff doesn't have to tie into the same universe. It can be everywhere. We can have, you know... Different people play different characters and all that stuff. Jump around. So to go back on this list, you got... The, Jump uh, around. This says Joker, October 19, mm-hmm. Birds of Prey, February of 2020. That's next year. Wonder Woman 1984, June of 2020. Right. The Batman, June of 2021. DC Super Pets. Oh, I bet we all can't wait to see that. What the hell's that? Um, May of 20... Tw- May 21st of 21... Suicide Squad, August 21, August of 21, and then Aquaman 2, not till 2022. Wow. December of 2022. So that means we're not going to get a Guardians of the Galaxy 3 for a long time. Right. Is it, What on that page jumps out that you want to see most? <sighs> the Batman, probably. I'm going to say if James Gunn stays on Suicide Squad 2. You think so? I would go that route. Cause he well, just you're still says, talking about... More than two years out. Yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like he's going to drop. He's going to drop one or the other and push forward. Kevin Feige's going to be like, here's some money. Well, Why don't you get out of that contract? That Wonder Woman was fantastic. Yeah. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that, too. But the new Batman, just, they don't. They haven't picked who they're going to use as Batman yet. No so. announcement. So there's been some new trailers drop, a lot of new trailers. Angry Birds 2, I know we're all excited about. Yeah, that was, we went and saw Dumbo this weekend. Is that with it? was on there. Yeah. Like, uh, Hannah the TV show, The Silence, Aladdin, and this one that kind of fell under the radar, but I saw the other day, and I wanted to bring it up because I think you'd like it, Brightburn. Yeah. I, think I that, watched that trailer today. That's just Superman gone bad is what it looks like. That, yeah, and I think that in all pieces, because the, you know, Brightburn comes from the, City that he's born in, Brightburn, Kansas. Did not know that. So no, I that, the name that's the name of the town. Okay. And so it's totally a, a rip off of. Here's what would happen if Superman was bad. Evil. Went evil, uh-huh. right? But I kept looking to see if it was a DC movie. It's not. Uh-uh. It's, it's a, a bad. Diet. I thought it was a bad robot production. Yeah, movie. yeah, I think you're right. And that's uh, JJ a- Abrams. No, no, it's uh, it's some. Uh, well, I mean, it's a uh, James Gunn movie. Oh, it is? Yeah. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah. I just saw that trailer, and I'm like, well, this looks intense and real, and I thought you'd like that. Um, Russ, what did you think of it, or did you see it? Did you get a chance to watch uh, it? Well, yeah, to me, that's what it is. It's like, at first I was like, well, this is Superman. Are they making a new Superman? Uh-huh. And then I was like, oh. He's horrible. That's not what he does. Uh-uh. And so I think that's what it is. It's like, if this creature came from outer space and uh, landed... In you know, in your town or something like that, would he necessarily be a good guy? It, you know, was yeah. it was it the nurture or nature that made him good? Just right. an interesting yeah, take I think on it's the great. story. I've never, I don't never see, thought about. I don't see how DC doesn't sue him. That's true. Right. That's kind of awesome. <laughs> I mean, I was like, awesome, uh, man. Seems so a little bit of news here for Russell, and Dune is officially shooting. Mm-hmm. So this question goes right to you, Russ. So you can answer too if you want. I'm not gonna exclude you. I'm not that kind of guy. Russ, what improvements do you want to see with this new remake? Considering I've never seen the original, I, I don't know what I'm looking for. Um, but what would you like to see? Uh, I don't know. Um, 
maybe a little bit better explaining the story. I think they should really set this up as maybe a trilogy or a something like that. Yeah. So that was the problem is we were trying to get in this whole beginning and end of, of a series that there's a lot of stuff from the book and stuff that was left out just because we were trying to, you know, get from point A to point B in one film. Damn Spice World. Yeah, w- well, which Damn. cost millions of dollars to do, so... Well, my I, I'm completely in agreement. The thing about the first movie that I didn't like is I did not understand it. Okay. I was so confused, and I, I'm, I'm a simple man. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I want... I want to understand why they're doing the politics of it. Um, and so hopefully they do a better job, even if that means telling less of the story, um, to, like Russell said, put it into multiple pieces. Okay. So, yeah. I, I, I need to watch this, what it looks like it needs to happen. It's been a lot of it. years, and I really didn't like it because I really didn't understand it. Yeah. Maybe we should do a watch So, party. so much more mature now. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, sophisticated. So my last kind of story is more of a question, and it's got all the April release dates are, are the big ones. Now, Avengers Endgame is on here, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that because I think we're all excited for that. The, you're but, saying that you have the power to make it not come out? Pretty much. I'm going to push it back to Are you surprised that they're coming out with May- that so fast yes. after Captain Marvel? Yes. Yeah. I think why didn't they wait till June? Why not July? Why not make that the summer movie to yeah. see? Or, or even May. What is yeah, coming well, out? It was <laughs> like the end of May. May. It was supposed to be May, like May fifth, like or whatever, May third, actually. And they pushed. It. I don't know why they do. Why not the end of May? I think it's the spoilers. But yeah, why not originally set it like to be summer? Anyway, I think they're scared to death of spoilers getting out on it. They must be. It must be. And China's getting it two days before we do. Oh god. And I don't understand that. So stay off the internet. That's just what you gotta do. Um. So April, we've got Shazam. We've got Pet Cemetery. You've got Hellboy. The Curse of La Llorona. You've got Missing Link, Little, The Best of Enemies, and After. And I can repeat those, but does anything jump off the page where you're like, oh, I definitely want to see that? I'm going to the movies to see Shazam. Are you going to go? I'm going to go. Sophie really wants to see it. I'm not sure that it's appropriate for an eight or nine year old, but we're going to go see it. And What's it rated? Do you know? If I get an award later for the best parenting, uh-huh. I think that's it's only fine. PG, isn't it? It's PG 13. Is it the 13? Oh, okay. PG the 13. Yeah, I don't know what the high. Yeah. You know what I want to see on there? None of it. Missing Link. That's what my pick is. Ugh. I'm so excited for that. Yeah, it, I like just because it kind of has a Victorian feel to it. It's uh-huh. like it's like it's set in the past. I think that just looks. And these guys that did Kubo, which I love, did it, this one. Yeah, yeah. And the Kubo and the two strings. Kubo yeah. and the two strings. Yeah, yeah. it's good, that? dude. It's good. Even just not story, just visually, it's like, well, how did they do this? Yeah. Um, so that's the one that, of those of uh-huh. those what, films. That's the one I want to see. That's kind of where I'm at. I'm kind of I'm thinking Shazam, but yeah, I'm all on board for this Missing Link, and it's got yeah. uh, Galvanakis is yeah. the Missing Link. Oh, is he? He's yeah. Susan. <laughs> Oh, his, name, um, his name's Susan. Susan, yeah, but it's, Susan. It's, it's, we, it's okay, or however he says It's a it. common male name it's where he's from. <laughs> so, I love that guy. That's all the news we've got. Russell, thank you for that amazing intro, and we look forward to you listening to us next month, too. Bum, 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 bum. you got to give the, the, the ending? Soulful Black I don't singing. remember even how I did the first one. <laughs> we have to listen to that. <laughs> Perfect. All right.